an electronic fly zapper. Now this belongs to my daughter and what happened was her husband plugged in the wrong power supply to it uh, and now it's uh, dead. It doesn't uh, light up or do anything so let's uh, take it apart and see if we can repair it. So I've got a 5 volt power supply hooked up so I'll just plug this USB lead in and we'll just check that we're getting 5 volts out of the lead. So meet our on the uh, volts DC and we're getting 5.2 there so that seems fine. Right, let's see what it does then. And correct, it's completely dead. What that's for? There's a little rubber bung thing at the top here. All right, that's a, looks like what appears to be a, a light sensor there. I guess that's so it um, comes on or switches off in the dark or, or whatever. But yeah, it uh, seems completely dead. So, how do we get into it then? Well, I can see a couple of screws down there. Just one there and one there. Well, it looks like this bottom assembly might be uh, fixed on with some screws hidden underneath these uh, sticky feet. So I think I might start there. Right, let's see if uh, let's see if these rubber feet want to come off. Right, so we've got four Phillips screws under there, so let's remove those. That's the base removed. Looks like that's where the power comes in underneath uh, this little part here. That looks like the uh, power to the fan, and I can see one screw there. So let's see if we can undo that one, and if this bit just unclips somehow. So it looks like uh, most of the electronics are actually going to be in the top of the unit. It just looks like we've got the power input on the uh, the fan in the lower half of it. But perhaps to access that you've got to go in through the bottom, which uh, kind of it looks like. So it looks like we've got another three screws. This mesh, I think, will come out. I thought this was uh, I thought this electrocuted the uh, insects, but uh, it appears that I can't see any uh, high voltage things in here so I think it might just be a light and the fan just sucks them into the bottom here and then they can't get back out I think that's uh, what it might be alright so it looks like we've got two screws and then this uh, top bit comes off So, it looks like we've got a small circuit board in here. Let's uh, see if we can get that out then. And that looks like it's held in by uh, further two screws. I'm just going to disconnect this. Uh, it looks like a cold cathode light around the top there. Alright, so let's zoom down a bit and see what we've got in here. Well, it looks like we've got a small microcontroller here. There's a uh, zero ohm resistor there. 
another zero ohm resistor there and another one there I'm not sure if one of those zero ohm resistors have gone looks like we've got some kind of diode here now where does the power come in looks like the power comes in on these connections here so that would be the first zero ohm resistor that would go through Right, let's plug it in and we'll see if we get any voltages anywhere. Right. So the power comes in on the bottom here. And we've got five volts. So that zero ohm resistor there is working okay because we've got power on that side and power on that side of it. And looks like that one's okay. That's the output to the fan. I don't seem to be getting any voltage out of there. I'm not feeling anything getting hot. Right, so I'm just going to see if I can get a better earth over here so I can uh, probe around on this board a bit. So, I'll zoom in a bit as well. So it looks like uh, this is the on off switch. And it goes along here into this microcontroller on there. Uh, depending on which way they look at it. That's pin one, two, so pin three. That seems to be for detecting when you press the button. Uh, and it looks like it goes through a resistor here, which is probably a pull-up resistor. And that's probably 5 volts, so I'll just zoom out a sec. So. I've got that there. Uh, that lead in properly. There we go, that's better. Right, so let's see. That should be 5 volts. Which it is. But this should also be about 5 volts because it should be getting pulled up through this resistor. But it's actually only showing half of a volt. I'll just zoom out the fraction there. And when we press the button, Let's see, let's see, it's actually dropping down to zero volts, which is right, because the other side of this is probably earth uh, or ground. Right, so, but this should be getting pulled up to uh, five volts, and it's not. It's only on uh, half a volt, which is a bit odd. I don't know whether this. Uh, light dependent resistor thing or diode or photo diode or whatever is um, having any effect on anything but it might be slightly I wonder if it's something to do with that I might take that out just to see uh, if it makes any difference I'm just going to remove this. 
Det er stykke ule, der er ude. Let's just see if that does anything now. Nope. Let's see what happens if we just short those two across. Yeah. Well, shorten those two across makes the uh, the light light up. That's interesting. Let's just put the probe back on to the uh, ground here. Still getting half of a volt on the uh, on the output, and I would think that should be a lot higher than half of a volt. That just doesn't seem right. I'm just wondering if this uh, microcontroller could have blown because I think is it this pin here? Yeah. So the five volts is fed straight into the microcontroller. It doesn't go through any voltage regulation or whatever. So if they've plugged, let's say, twelve volts into there. I think it's fried this microcontroller. Now I wonder if we could just do away with the microcontroller and the on-off switch and just have it so when you plug the USB lead in it, it just comes on. At least it would then be functional instead of it uh, ending up in the bin. And it looks like just shorten these two contacts across here might well do that. So let's just plug the fan in and we'll see if that powers the fan up as well. And it does. Right, so I think uh, I think we could just put a blob of solder on there. Just do away with the on-off switch, and uh, like I say, it would work, but uh, not quite as intended. But at least it'd be uh, more functional than what it currently is. But I'm fairly sure this microcontroller is blown. That's uh, that's what I think anyway. Because like I say, we should be. Uh, Actually, one point seven on there now. I mean, unless that resistor has gone. What's that? One or three? Ten k. Let's just check that resistor. I mean, we're getting 6k on that, which is uh, a bit unusual. Ah, oh, but there's another resistor going through here, there, right? Yeah, it's... k That was supposed to be 4.7. That's the only problem, it's uh, able to take these out to actually measure them accurately. Um, Let's just do that. I think these resistors will be fine. I think it's the microcontroller. But I could be wrong. Let's uh, see. Right, so there's the 10 k I think we were a bit uh, too much heat on there for this board. That's starting to blister there. Mm. 
Yeah, I think I'm just going to use the iron on that. I think that board's just blistering with the heat. Nice, right, so let's see what these measure. Yep, 4.7 and 10k. So I think it's the uh, this chips field inside. I mean, that's there's nothing else connected to this track now, apart from uh, apart from this microcontroller. Well, we'll put them resistors back on. So a bit flux. Right, we'll put the uh, 10k back on. Let's put a bit of flux on there first as well. Right, that'll do. And I think I'm just going to uh, do what I said and just put a blob of solder between these two points. Hopefully, right. Well, that's it uh, switching on when you apply the power. So, I think we'll just reassemble it at that. Alright, let's try and figure out how it went back together. Right, well, it's uh, not quite working as intended, but uh, I think that's the best we're going to be able to do with it. So I think I still think it'll do its job, even though it's not uh, working 100% as intended. So there we go, then fixing a Cremax electronic fly trap. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please give it the thumbs up. If you want to see more like it, please subscribe. Any comments or questions, please leave it in the comment section below. And as always, have a great day. Thanks for watching.